Did you know a cricket ball can be bowled at speeds exceeding 100 miles per hour? That's faster than most cars on the highway. It's a mind-boggling fact, isn't it? The sheer speed can be intimidating, but don't let that fool you. In the game of cricket, it's not just about the adrenaline rush of raw power, it's also about control, precision, and technique. In cricket bowling, the speed of your delivery can be thrilling, but it's the accuracy of your aim and the finesse of your technique that truly make an impact. Whether you're bowling a fast ball or a spin, it's the control you exert over the ball's speed, swing, and bounce that can stump the batsman and win the game. So, if you're ready to learn the art of cricket bowling, you're in the right place. Let's delve into the fascinating world of cricket and perfect your bowling deliveries for maximum impact. Cricket bowling starts long before the ball leaves your hand. That's right, the journey to a successful delivery begins with the basics. Grip, stance, and run-up. Let's start with the grip. This is your primary connection to the ball, the conduit through which all your skill and intention flow. Holding the ball correctly can make the difference between a good delivery and a great one. The conventional grip for fast bowlers involves placing the index and middle fingers close together on the seam of the ball, with the thumb supporting from below. Spin bowlers, however, will have their own unique grips to impart spin to the ball. Remember, a relaxed grip is key. Too tight, and you risk losing control. Too loose, and the ball might slip out prematurely. Next up is the stance. This is the launch pad for your delivery, the position from which you start your run-up. Stand tall, with your feet shoulder-width apart. Your non-bowling arm should point in the direction of the batsman, helping to align your body correctly. Your bowling arm, holding the ball, should be relaxed by your side. A poised stance is a prelude to a confident run-up and a powerful delivery. And speaking of the run-up, this is the part where you build momentum for your delivery. It's not a sprint, but a controlled burst of speed, culminating in the release of the ball. Your run-up should be fluid and rhythmic, matching your natural stride. Over time, you'll develop a run-up that feels comfortable and suits your bowling style. The aim is to reach the crease with maximum speed and balance, ready to unleash the ball with precision and power. These elements, grip, stance, and run-up, are the building blocks of a successful delivery. They set the stage for everything that follows, from the moment the ball leaves your hand to the moment it reaches the batsman. Each has its own subtleties and intricacies, its own role to play in the larger performance that is a cricket delivery. Mastering these basics is the first step towards becoming a cricket bowling champion. Remember, practice makes perfect. So, get out there and start bowling. Now, let's throw some magic with the ball. Cricket is not just about power and speed, it's also about finesse and strategy. A crucial part of this strategy is how you deliver the ball. It's the art of deception, the craft of illusion. And that's where line, length, and swing come into play. First up, the line. The line of a delivery is the path along which the ball travels towards the batsman. It can be on the off stump, middle stump, or leg stump, each offering different challenges for the batsman and opportunities for the bowler. A ball on the off stump line forces the batsman to make a decision, to play or to leave. A middle stump line attacks the batsman's defense, and a leg stump line tempts the batsman to flick the ball, risking a catch. Next, we have the length. The length of a delivery is where the ball pitches or bounces on the pitch. A good length delivery bounces just enough to confuse the batsman, making it difficult to decide whether to play on the front foot or the back. A short length delivery bounces high, threatening the batsman's body and head, and a full length, or yorker, targets the batsman's feet and the stumps, offering little room for error. Now let's talk about the swing. Swing is the deviation of the ball in the air. It's the curve ball of cricket, the trick up the bowler's sleeve. An in-swing moves towards the batsman, an out-swing moves away, and a reverse swing can behave unpredictably, depending on the condition of the ball and the skill of the bowler. Each of these elements, line, length, and swing, can be manipulated to deceive the batsman and take wickets. It's like a chess game, where every move counts, every decision matters. The bowler is the grandmaster, plotting, scheming, strategizing. Remember, a well-delivered cricket ball is a beautiful sight, 
but it requires practice, precision, and patience. What happens after the ball leaves your hand is just as important as what happens before. Let's delve into the art of follow-through and recovery. Following through is the continuation of your arm swing after the ball's release. It's all about maintaining balance and ensuring the energy from your run-up isn't wasted. Picture it like a pendulum that's kept moving by momentum. Your body should naturally pivot on your bowling foot, allowing your other foot to swing around. This helps in maintaining balance and preparing for the next ball. Remember, your bowling arm should end up high, pointing towards the target. This isn't just for show, it's a crucial part of maintaining your line and length. Recovery is all about getting back into your starting position as quickly as possible. You're not just a bowler, you're a fielder too. So you need to be ready for any action that follows your delivery. And that's how you put the finishing touch on a perfect delivery. So let's quickly recap what we've learned today. A great delivery in cricket bowling is a symphony of elements, all playing their part in harmony. It begins with the grip, your hands intimate dance with the ball, setting the stage for the magic to unfold. Next, the stance and run-up fuel the momentum, providing the power and direction. It's a sprint, a dash towards destiny, where every stride counts. Then comes the line, length, and swing, the heart of your delivery. This is where you, the bowler, become a tactician, manipulating the ball's trajectory to outwit the batsman. Follow-through and recovery are just as important. They complete the process, ensuring your body is ready for the next delivery, minimizing the risk of injury. Our journey through these fundamentals is a testament to the depth and complexity of cricket bowling, a beautiful blend of physical prowess and tactical acumen. Remember, cricket bowling is an art form. With practice, you too can paint your masterpiece on the pitch.